OK, so you've translated all the stories in the third stage of the Cambridge Latin course. You come to the vocab checklist and you think, oh, is that it? Just a few words to learn. No, there's a lot more in the Cambridge Latin course. But do notice that um, these words in checklist three, a lot of them look very familiar. Um, have you thought that that if you have an exclamation mark in Latin, it shows that you are shouting? Uh, a door is an exit very often. There's that word. Um, and oh, interestingly, um, since I mentioned the word door, yarnua is that's how it's pronounced in Latin. It means a door. But that letter I, later on in medieval times, it became a J. That's when the letter J was invented. But we get the word January from uh, that word for a door. The door to the rest of the year. Uh, January. If you're irate, you're angry. If you're leonine, you're like a lion. If you magnify something, you make it bigger. A navy is a load of ships. A porter carries your bag. If something's ridiculous, it makes you smile. And um, a video is something that you watch like this, I suppose. OK, anyway, uh, that's all well and good, but... It's not as exciting as testing yourself. So you can click on resources and test your vocabulary in Latin. So this is how you do it. Uh, the number of words in a test you can change. It says 10 there, but I fancy doing uh, oh, 30 words. Um, uh, Latin to English is always the, the best way checklist words. It says in stage three. I'm going to challenge myself and say up to stage three. Now I'm going to start this test. I'm quite nervous. Uh, Venum means wine, garden or sun. I've got to think hard there. Uh, some people, more correct than I, pronounce Venum as weenum. So that makes me think that it's wine. Intrat well, intravenous injection, something enters your veins via an intravenous injection. I, I think it's enters and not carries or laughs. And so you go on testing yourself. Uh, est means is, bibit is drinks, and surgit is rises, and cana is dinner. This is going to go on to 30. I should have done it shorter really at the end it will give you a score so that's uh, that's a good way of easily testing yourself to see if you're up to scratch with the vocab um let's see what else there was there sw tends to be short for sorting words here's another game to play you've got three categories people places occupations so which goes where. I think a pictor is going to, and you click and drag. Oh, I can't click and drag. I don't know why. Oh, I know. I've got to use this. Pictor. There we go. Pictor is an occupation, a place. I reckon a via is a place, and I reckon people uh, matter most obviously that's a person and so you fill up the um, the three columns you may find there aren't four in each uh, and then when you're finished you've used up all the options below then it gives you a, a score tells you how you've done so that's that's something let's go back now let's go back from that final page because uh, lots of information there about Pompeii. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, there's a little... Well, I presume it's a dog. It is a dog. Of course it's a dog. Canis. Um, looking around Pompeii, I think dogs get in at reduced rates. 
and oh practicing the language okay so if you find a page with practicing the language on and go to resources uh, you can see practicing the language one practicing the language two but before that uh, notice because this page is also where there's about the language it it says W E. I don't. I think that might be word endings, but I don't know. Let's click and I can see anyway. Uh, the poet enters the inn. Click each gap marked by a space to make a Latin sentence that translates the English. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. I've got to choose poeta or poetam. I've got to choose tabernam, and I check it now. Excellent, you chose all the correct options. First word, last word, back to the middle. The poet enters the inn. Okay, so that was uh, that was jolly enough. Let's go back now. Uh, declensions, groups of words. First, second, oh, this is excellent. Very good, okay. So, ladies before gentlemen. So, Colina ends in A. Lots of girls' names end in A. Paula. I've just thought of Paula. Petra. And uh, Amanda, etc. Anyway, second declension. Gentleman names. Dominus is a master. Third declension. If it doesn't end in A, it doesn't end in us. It must go in the third. There's nowhere else. I call it the dustbin declension. Everything else has to go in it. That's why it's so massive. Uh, there's the word for a nice cuddly lion. Leo the lion. He goes in the third declension. And so you carry on doing that. Very often, if you do one successfully, another one pops up for you to have a go at. So that's, that's sorting words. Okay. And then uh, practicing the language. That's what's next. So practicing the language one. There it is on the page. But we can do it more online this way. You've got to decide whether Mercart or a villa ambulat or choir it. Well, I think he's going to walk. Oh, no. What does it mean? Uh, so the merchant walks from the villa. Check. Oh, it says perfect. OK, there are, by the way, various options so that if you don't say villa and you say house, if you don't say from and you say out of, if you don't say the merchant, you say at merchant, it will no doubt tell you that you are still right. You're still perfect. OK, so that's uh, that's practicing the language one. And there's also practicing the language two. So there's plenty to do in the Cambridge Latin course besides just translating the stories and reading about interesting things like the archaeology of Pompeii. OK, there's plenty to do. So enjoy. <laughs>